the age of the dinosaurs. There was another world of giants on Earth. A submerged world, where enormous reptiles ruled seas filled with incredible creatures. These dangerous seas of all time. No living thing was safe. That's how the story of this dolly begins to unfold. Imagine that one of the creatures in the shallows is a pregnant dolly corincops. She gives birth to a male, 18 inches long and colored like his mother. And a female, darker in color, with light patches below her eyes. And it's her life we begin to follow. She and her brother are air breathers. Instinct tells them what they have to do in their first minute alive. From the beginning, the little female and her brother practice skills they'll need one day when they'll have to leave the safety of the shallows for the dangerous seas beyond. If she survives the perils to come, she'll return here one day and have young of her own. Already, she finds competition for food. There's the Hesperornis, a bird that can't fly and has a beak full of sharp teeth. And the Styxosaurus, a distant cousin of the Dollies with a supersized neck. An adult can reach 35 feet in length. More than half of it, neck. Its shape makes it a slower swimmer, but it's great for catching fish. soon comes across creatures that move by pumping jets of water from their shells. They're called ammonites, and they thrive in the ancient sea. They have rock-hard armor, and perhaps another defense swim too close like the little female and get a face full of ink. But that doesn't stop a young platycarpus 
when it wants a snack. Ammonites were... Months have passed, and the female and her brother are now juveniles. But they're still in the safety of the shallows, and unaware of the huge predators in the sea beyond. For now, they're mastering the art of catching their favorite prey, herring-like fish called encodus. changes for the dollies. Perhaps it's a change of seasons that causes the encodus to head out to sea on a migration. The dollies must follow their main source of food. And that means the young female and her brother must now set out on the journey of their lives. Trailing their mother from the shallows out into the western interior sea. It's about the size of the Mediterranean and only a few hundred feet deep, filled with dangers. The Tusatuthis was a massive hunter, like the giant squid of today, up to 30 feet long and abundant in the inland sea. It was too big to be attacked by the platycarpus, who settles for smaller prey. Platycarpus itself was fierce. Tylosaurs were out there, but there were other predators more easily spotted. As fish go, Xyphactinus was gigantic, up to 17 feet long. the size of a little female dolly. It was a hundred that could kill quickly. And this day, one did. The victim was a six-foot fish called a gillicus. Such a mouthful that swallowing it killed the Xyphactinus prehistoric victim of gluttony. Weeks pass, and the dollies are now far from any shore, venturing into a sea turned magical by night. Microscopic plankton give off an eerie glow. Under cover of darkness, the encodus rest, not quite sleeping. a 
mass spawning of straight-shelled ammonites. 